Okay, it is The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Season 5, Episode 3. Pay attention to me! Um, Yolanda with her family, I find her the most enduring. I was a little upset with her last season, but her talking to her daughter, Gigi, who was home for three days. Oh, okay. And her talking to Bella, who's about to leave, and her talking about visiting her mom, who has cancer, which I want to hear the cancer storylines. Um, that's specifically because we've lost several family members this month to cancer. So, kind of over that. Um, but I find her most endearing during those times. I'm kind of warm up to her. I've always liked her. Thoughts on Yolanda? A little too new agey for me. What did she say that was new agey? Stuff I've, in my, yeah. Thing where About I, being cut to the earth? That, yeah, that stuff. Eh, I get it. I mean, you know, as opposed to concrete. Getting your feet in some dirt? Uh, I think she's in the whole crystal thing. No, no, no. I think you're getting confused with someone. That was last year we had Carlton with the crystals. Okay, okay. Anyway, you can have whatever opinion you want. Lisa R. Lisa Rinna has a birthday party at Pump. Kyle comes. Some non-housewives who we don't, clearly don't even care about come. Her husband comes. And then she talks about porn a lot. I kind of was like on my phone tweeting and all of a sudden she's like, porn, 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 porn's awesome. And I was like, what? What happened? Did you catch that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to add anything? No. Okay. Um, Brandy, she complains about her divorce. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want, she's on my screen. I'm like looking for the remote. I don't want it. Get it off my screen. Kyle goes shopping with her daughter, talking about how they rented a boat, rented a yacht. And this is my personal joke, which is she talks about flying a private plane. Like, we, we, we flew in a private plane. And then if you watch Yolanda, Yolanda talks about flying private, which is how it's said. Same way you don't rent a boat, you charter a yacht. Like, she needs, like, a rich person coach to show her, like, how to subtly get her point across without, you know. That's my joke. Can you laugh? <laughs> New money. <laughs> New money. New money. <laughs> My joke's better. Your joke is better. Okay, you win. Um, but anyway, so Kyle's talking about how she doesn't want her daughter to be spoiled, and yet she's, like, looking at clothes that say things like, I left my other, uh, other Louie in the jet. And I'm like, this is the exact opposite of trying to, to raise a child who doesn't know how privileged they are, is to buy them clothes that literally say across their chest how privileged they are. So I'm not buying that she really doesn't want her daughter to be spoiled. She wants to pretend on TV that she doesn't want her daughter to be spoiled, but really she just wants to, like, roll around in how awesome they are. I wouldn't mind rolling around in money. I know. I mean, I'm giving her a hard time mostly because I think I just think she's a faker. Fakey, fake, fake, faker. Um, but, uh, but, but, yeah, I would take the money. Um... Kyle and Kim and their sister Kathy Hilton, who seems just dreadful, go wedding dress shopping with, I guess it's Kim's oldest, uh, who's getting married, and they talk about Kim's first husband, who apparently has cancer. And I'm just like, ah, so much cancer. Ah. So, it, you know, it, it's, it was, a, I mean, it's interesting. Then Lisa Rinna and Eileen, 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 Eileen. Eileen meet for lunch. They talk about their... What? Eileen. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Look at you with your jokes. Killing it tonight. With your dad jokes. Look at you. <laughs> Leave a pocket. He doesn't even buy it. Come here, buddy. Um, anyway, they have lunch. They talk about hustling. And I... Oh, I kind of regret that I never really gave acting a shot. Well, you haven't done anything else, like get a million degrees. <laughs> oh, whatever. Like, that's useful. The TV then show. Brandy and Kyle go for a hike, and I want nothing to do with this hike. So Brandy's like, yeah, I think I should call Lisa. And she, like, calls her up and is like, I thought maybe we could get our friendship back on track. <clears throat> what? Wh what? And, like, Lisa and Ken look as confused as I look, which is, like... Very confused, if you were confused about that. <laughs> I mean, it's just the stupidest thing ever. I have no interest in Brandy. I know people like her. Everything about her offends me. Like, I'm not going to be go overboard with it, but really, she's an awful... I want nothing to do with her on my screen. Maybe in real life, she's a different person. I doubt it. But on this show, 
she is dead weight. They need to just snip her off and just keep moving. That is how I feel. And, you know, Lisa's right about the whole, like, that was my interpretation of last season, that Brandy went around and sort of stirred discontent with all of the individual castmates. And then they all kind of descended on Lisa at the same time. And there's pictures, literally, of Brandy smirking with glee when they all turned on Lisa. And it's really not fair. And I, you know, a few of them did have legitimate issues with Lisa, but to have them all do it at once at Brandy's prompting was just so infuriating to me. Because I imagine how would I feel if all of my friends on national TV turned on me in the same evening or over the course of a week. I would be pretty upset. So I want nothing to do with Brandy. Do you want to add anything at all? You don't like Lisa Vanderpump as much as I do, do you? Parker would like this to end, I declare. Nothing you want to add to the whole recap. Do you know we got bad reviews on last week's recap because you dropped the ball? <laughs> oh, I have words for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's our recap.